switch it to music. On the YouTube homepage, I don't see it yet. The most recent video is Glute Growing for Wellness with Renee Jewett. Maybe I need to go into YouTube studio? Videos. Oh, there it is. Okay, gotcha. Ah, where's it? Where's the volume? I know. I can turn this volume off. There we go. Got it. Yep. Yep. I don't see anything on screen, but <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to Muscular Development's wrap up final report of the Toronto Pro Super Show. Held today in Toronto, Canada, uh, just six months after they had the last Toronto Super Show. So let's get into some results. I'm trying to see some things on screen. Ah, there I am. There we go. There I am. Okay. So uh, I'm going to read you some results of the divisions that we, we didn't capture footage of, just so you know who won. Women's bodybuilding, a uh, local woman, Lisa Kudry, who I'd seen the last couple shows. I believe she was an indie pro and New York pro. She did pull off the win here. Women's physique, Ji Jai Hai Lee from Korea. And let me say, she was a winner. Let me say the Koreans are coming on very, very strong. We've been talking about Egypt. We've been talking about Brazil. Korea is really coming on strong in multiple, multiple divisions at a lot of these shows lately. Fitness, Stephanie Jones took the title. Figure, another Korean athlete, Han Woo Park. Wellness, Canadian Cassandra Gillis. Bikini. This was the, I believe, 34th pro win for three-time Olympia champ, Ashley Kaltwasser. Congratulations. Congratulations on setting another record for all-time IFBB Pro League wins. That is her. It was Dexter Jackson. Then Ashley started exceeding her wins. Men's physique went to a gentleman named Mehdi, M-E-H-D-I Kabaji. And now let's get into some footage, hopefully. Classic physique, guys. If we can look at the judging, uh, we'll look at the top, top few guys. So, uh, I'd say Muhammad could have been a tad shy. 
you know, in a perfect world, but it didn't matter. This was, this was a He's going to the Olympia. This is his I'm sure he's going to be 100% the Olympia. This was, I'd say, about 90%, 87 to 90 meters. Theo, I'd like to see from Theo moving forward. If he could get a little bit bigger, this guy's got great shape. Comes in sliced. Nice he pose. fixed his color. I was a little, a little uh, unsatisfied with his color at New York Pro. I thought it was too light, but he definitely came in with better color, and that makes a big difference, guys. At this level, every everything counts. Presentation, color, uh, how you hit your poses. Uh, so, on the clear winner, just a big, big, big guy, great shape. Um, wasn't even an argument for me. Dorian, Dorian Haywood, give this guy props in fourth, fourth weekend in a row competing. So that's not easy, guys. Uh, but congratulations. The way it shook out again was Mohamed Shaban was the winner. Theo Le from France in second. Andrea Muzzi from Italy in third. Dorian Haywood in fourth. And Slavoj Bednar from Czech Republic in fifth. It's, it should be noted that Open was the only division that they announced more than the top three. They announced top five. All other divisions, they only announced the top three. Um, can we pull up Muhammad's routine, Jim? I just want to take a look and analyze some, some things he can, things he can uh, probably improve just a bit, bit on, because that's what it's all about. It's improving, improving, improving. Because, you know, these guys, their, their end goal is to be Mr. Olympia. Yeah, so the end goal, if you're going to the Olympia, you want your best chance. You, you got to be, a, you got to eliminate any possible flaws, weak points, anything, whether it be a body part, posing, conditioning, anything. You want to have the, you want to have every advantage you can and the least amount of disadvantages, obviously. So we're looking for, let's see what's on the screen now. Okay, so we're looking at Muhammad Shaban, the winner of the show now. So you could see conditioning is good. It's not great. Uh, when I say great condition, I'm thinking um, something like Brian Balzano, winner of the Indie Pro a couple weeks ago. Glutes just sliced and diced. Hamstrings dug and carved out. Uh, Muhammad, like I said, he's probably about 90% here. I've seen him a little sharper. Um, it, was, it was more than enough to pull off the win here. And, you know, I, I don't know if, I don't think he was planning on coming in at less than his best, but you know, usually these guys can only peak 100% once or twice a year at the most. So he might have been saving, saving his ammo for the Olympia, which is still six months, a little over six months away. It's, it's, it's quite a while before we get to the Olympia. So congratulations to Muhammad. You can see that tremendous quad development of his. I love his quads. What, what I like about his quads, especially is the, the teardrop, the vastus medialis right above the kneecap, so thick and dense. Uh, a lot of guys really lack that. Like if you could see Dorian Haywood there, Dorian would look so much better if his quads had that big, thick, meaty teardrop, the vastus medialis, and a little bit more sweep. You know, legs, legs matter quite a bit. Uh, and you're looking at the side shots here. You can see who's got hamstrings and who doesn't. You know, the hams are supposed to bulge out equally as the quads from the side. Ideally, they're supposed to be equally developed. Usually you see superior quad development, inferior hamstring development. It's rare that you see people that have just as impressive development in the hamstring. So anytime you see that, it's, it's, a, it's a welcome sight, a sight for sore eyes. So we're looking at the backs now, the top four. Uh, they're going into their rear double as I'm watching this. So this is a shot that, uh, I'll say one thing, the rear lat spread is what really exposes back weakness if you're, if you're missing that. Most guys can crunch together enough muscle with the upper back and all the different muscles to have a decent rear double. But when they come into the rear lat spread right here, you can see like Dorian has pretty shallow, looks real shallow across the back. See Muhammad's got a pretty thick back. Andrea, Theo, good back development on all these guys. Um, going into the side chest as I'm, I'm sorry, side tricep as I'm looking at that. So yeah, when they're doing the side tricep guys, the judges are looking head to toe. They're not just looking at the tricep and the delt and the chest. They're looking at the at the legs, the, the quads, the hams from the side, even the calves, it all counts. Ab and thigh shot. I'm glad to see everyone's hitting it traditionally, or at least they're starting out traditionally, because we're seeing more and more guys doing that side 
shot showing more serratus than it is abdominals. And it always looks to me like they're trying to hide something. Hand out hit most muscular shot, spectacular shot. Uh, well, they say, they always say favorite most muscular. And you would think if they say your favorite most muscular, you're only, they're only going to hit one. They always end up hitting two, three different most musculars, but you know, whatever it's, it's the last, it's always the last time, last pose that they call during the judging and the crowd loves that shot. So go with it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I got to close this out of my screen. Okay. So uh, let's get into classic physique. If we can look at some judging from classic. Um, Jen, am I frozen on the screen where you're looking? Oh, no, we're good. Okay, cool. So there's a little bit of delay, guys. It's a little like a five second lag, you know, like on li live TV used to be. Uh, so, okay, so I'm waiting on classic. So classic results were uh, first place was Tyler Johnson from Canada. Second place, Hyung Ju Kwan from uh, Korea and Cody Amy, probably also from Canada. Tremendous, tremendous amount of Canadian athletes in this, as you would expect. Uh, it's their country. I would expect them all to want to win this title. It used to be different. They used to have a few different shows. So the winner here, Tyler Johnson, um, I called that after the judging. And if you can see uh, second place gentleman next to him, uh, to his, as you're looking on the left, that's Hyung, Hyung Ju Kwan. From the front, I actually had, I had Hugh, Hyung, I had Hyung winning. Um, beautiful shape on this guy. Again, his quads so much better than Tyler's. They have that real, that real round sweep from the side. They have that teardrop development above the knee. Superior leg development, definitely to Tyler. But when they turned around, uh, Tyler exposed Hyung's back, back development was very weak. And I think that's what it came down to, if, if I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I wouldn't consider Tyler uh, a truly classic physique. And I don't mean that as a put down. It's, uh, you know, he, he, make, he makes the weight requirement and all that. It's just aesthetically, um, you know, maybe, maybe work on improving the shape a little bit more. I know shape is genetic, but you can always get a little better. But congratulations to him on his win. And Hume looks really good. For Hume, I would just say, hammer that back because everything else looks phenomenal on this guy, this, this new Korean competitor in classic physique. Um, looks like he's a young guy. He's got plenty of time to, to work on that. So what are we looking at now? Um, okay, if we can get into 212. Can you hear me loud enough? Do I sound... Uh, so we're going to go into uh, 212 and 212 results were the Quebec of Spain, Kalata, Kalata, KLP, A lot of I mean, he was the clear winner from the second. It was a small class. There's only a few guys. But uh, to me, he, he stood out immediately. He had that X frame, really wide shoulders, wide lats, flaring thighs, small waist. Um, I think that's classic. Um, second place, Marat Ganal in 212. Third place, Kentaro Kuramuchi. Kuramochi from Japan. So if we can get that on the screen, that'll be the last division we talk about. Uh, 212. And, and while we're waiting on that, we don't have footage of uh, wheelchair competitor Woody Belfort. He was the only uh, only gentleman who showed up to compete in pro wheelchair. So he won. But um, he looked tremendous. He would have done well in even if all the wheelchair divisions I've seen, he would have been right up there. He was muscular, lean, and he had a crazy posing routine. He did a handstand with his wheelchair attached to it. And then he comes, comes back down. He removes the wheels of the wheelchair, holds them up, crosses them, hits a pose with them. I've never seen any of the wheelchair competitors use their wheelchair as a prop this way. Okay, so we're looking at the 212 guys right now. So uh, on the left is Kintaro Kuramuchi. Uh, next, next over from him in the red trunks. That is your winner, Hossein Kalata. Kalata. 
Uh, next to him is runner-up Murat Ganal. In fourth place, which unfortunately there's only four of them, was Junho Kim. Junho looks good, and you know he's in his 50s. Jose Raymond and I, we did our preview a few days ago, and we actually picked him to win because he was the only one of the only one of the four names on the list that I recognized. I didn't know who any of these guys were, but I did say many, many times at these shows, there's someone I've never heard of, and I'm at the show, and I'm blown away by this person. And from that day on, I know who they are. So Hossein Kalata, I know who you are now. You're you're uh, you're on the map. You're well on your way. Uh, I think I think he has a chance. I'm not going to make any predictions about how he's going to do at the Olympia. That's crazy because every guy that wins every show is going to be qualified for the Olympia. So we're going to have probably about 15 to 20 guys, probably probably somewhere between 15 and 20 in the 212 Olympia this year. And they're all going to be looking really good. It's just going to come down to, you know, <laughs> the best of the best of the best. 212 final on the screen. Yeah. So, yeah, Hossein, clear winner to me. He had, had the shape. He had the size, density, detail conditioning, everything you want. It was, it wasn't even close. And I don't say that out of disrespect for the other guys. It's just, he was dominant, brought his A game and he had a tremendous physique. So well, well deserving winner. So um, I'll get to some of your questions and comments. That's why we go live. Brian Nasser, you can't see, come on now. <laughs> Hector Mendoza, dude, come on, Ron. Okay. I think they were complaining about not being able to see something at the beginning. Uh, congrats, Kenny. Once he lost, give it Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so keep keep watching this guy as well. I'm talking. So Muzi lost condition. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, that was an issue. I think Muzi, Muzi, if he had been totally peeled and shredded, yeah, he might have had a really good chance at beating um, at beating Muhammad Shaban. Why not? Because Muhammad was not at his very best. Uh, Muzi's no joke. He's got some some crazy body parts. Uh, his front lat spread is is one of the best in the game right now. It's it it blows you away with the amount of mass combined with that small waist that he has and the flaring thighs. It's freezing on me too. And audio is spotty. I have too many applications running on my computer. Mm, no, nope, I don't. Nope. All I have is Zoom and this guy. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, freezing. Da, 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 da. What? If any of these guys can make it in CrossFit, <laughs> what? No, CrossFit's a different sport. That's like saying basketball players wouldn't be good hockey, wouldn't be good at hockey or golf or something. It's it's crazy to. I don't know why people do this. They say, you know, these guys wouldn't do great in MMA. I'm like, why would they? That's not their sport. Just like the MMA guys wouldn't do well in bodybuilding. It's these are all different sports. I don't know why people. I think they do it just to put down bodybuilders. This is a joke. Uh, CrossFit. Come on, guys. Cro I think because the CrossFit games are going on right now. Maybe that's why he said that. Jason Genova deserves to be on that stage. Uh, so Jason Genova was a uh, local competitor in Florida. Uh, YouTube famous. Very famous <laughs> for a couple of years there. Uh, you know, Big Lenny. Yeah, now they're all talking about they're making Jason Genova and uh, Delray Misfits references. Big Lenny has been robbed too many times. Yeah, uh, I guess I guess we'll kind of wrap it up, guys. So uh, Toronto Pro Super Show, tremendous uh, you know effort on all these part of these athletes. You know, when we say things like the lineup wasn't the best quality or anything, you know, you can't blame the athletes for other athletes not showing up. These people came out and they gave it their best. Promoters put on a great show. We still had some really high quality competitors. I mean, you had Ashley Kaltwasser, three time Olympian in this. Uh, I think Hussein Kalata, he, he could really move up in the 212 with some improvements. Mohamed Shaban, he's been top 10 at the Olympia before. Uh, this is a, uh, it's exciting for me to see these European competitors, Andrea Muzzi, Theo Laguerre, and uh, the other Andrea Presti, who I saw at the New York Pro. It's exciting to see them coming over here and doing more stateside shows here in the USA. It's giving the US fans a lot more awareness of them. They're building their fan base. They're letting the U.S. judges take a look at them, which is always a good thing um, because these guys, a lot of them are going to qualify for the Olympia. And, um, you know, you're going to be seeing them on stage in Las Vegas in six months' time. Um, yeah. We got anything else, guys? You know, for a while, they wouldn't be able to cross. <laughs> I don't know why they keep harping on the CrossFit thing. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to wrap it up for MD's wrap-up of the Toronto Pro Super Show. 
I'll read the winners one, one last time. Women's bodybuilding, Lisa Kudry. Women's physique, Ji Hai Lee, Korea. Fitness, Stephanie Jones. Figure, Han Woo Park. Wellness, Cassandra Gillis. Bikini, the legendary Ashley Kaltwasser. Men's physique, Mady Kabaji. Classic, Tyler Johnson. 212, Hossein Kalata. Wheelchair, Woody Belfort. And open, Muhammad Shaban. So that's it. Congratulations to all the champions. Congratulations to Ron Hache for running another successful event. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the likes, hit the shares, do all that good stuff. Hit the little notification bell, that bell up in the corner. So, you know, we have new videos coming out and that's it. For Ron Harris, from Muscular Development, we'll see you.